Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. O, como se dice oh. en español, Lightspeed Spanish. Light, light, Lightspeed Spanish. Spanish. Light Speed. No, light no. Speed. Light Spanish. Speed Spanish. Correct. This week we have a suggestion from Rachel Williams. And hola, Rachel. Rachel. Hola, Rachel. And this is, by the way, this is number 49. Let me check. 48 for beginners. 48 beginners. For beginners, so it's all in English, apart from the Spanish words that we're going to say. And today, Rachel has asked us to talk about the difference between igualmente, igualmente. and tú también. Okay. ¿Vale? Okay, entonces nos vemos en la segunda parte. Cynthia. Let me read Rachel's email. Okay. Yeah? Are you sitting comfortably? I am now. Good. All right. <laughs> Rachel said, in a recent podcast, you were going over greetings, which I was so thankful for. Always has been, I've always been so hesitant to ask. Obviously, Rachel's got a really good Spanish level. I thought you were going to say, I've always been hesitant to greet. To greet, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's that? Uh, m that modern that used to be shyness. Used to be shyness, and they, they had to rename it. Um, it's called something like social. Um, I've got social. Well, the social distancing now. No, Is no, it? no, no. It's a. It's when you you you're uncomfortable when you're with other people. Awkwardness. Yeah, it's like socially awkward. But no, there's there's a there's a proper disease now. They call it okay. where where you're with people. It used to be called when when you were shy. And had to rename the rebranded shyness to a to a disease. That well, sounds was, much cooler. Yeah, much cooler. I, have, I suffer from. Look, I've got my badge. I've got. I have social um, something. Reticence. I'm socially awkward. Socially awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe okay. you can wear. Um, you know, dogs. Sometimes in, in some countries they have different uh, leads, depending on the temperament of the dog. Ah, okay. Like greenies, you can pet me. Oranges, I'm unsure. Red is, I'm going to rip your leg off. Yeah, you can have like a color as well, like yeah. green. <laughs> so <laughs> real. Or I green, I've done my yeah. greetings in Spanish and I can greet you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, red, red. I know all the swear words in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, by the so way... So people would get the, the red before the green. We're going to do a, a, a one on, on swear words coming up soon. Eh? Oh, are we? Yeah, oh, okay. coming up soon. Okay, so... Carrying on, she said, um, you mentioned igualmente, but for some reason, I'm always tempted to say, y tú también. Okay. okay. So, when somebody says to you, um, eh, hola, I don't know, eh, I, que, que tengas un buen día. Yeah. You could say, y tú también, and you could say igualmente. Mm -hmm. But, you couldn't, Uh, exchange them if they said, for example, nice to meet you. Igualmente. Mucho, Igualmente. Gu mucho gusto, mucho gusto. Igualmente. Igualmente. Likewise. Yeah. See? Or, yeah. Well, if, if they say mucho gusto o encantado, encantada, igualmente. Igualmente. Mm -hmm. See, you would be able to say tú también. Because that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Well, if they say, encantado de conocerte, de conocerte. you could say, y a ti también. Y a ti. But we tend to say, igualmente. Ah, igualmente. So you, with the, the tú también, it, it works, but only in certain, at only certain yes. times. I, I'll give you an example of something that, that Or I... Or you can start and be the one saying, mucho gusto. So you don't have to think about exactly. what you say. Get in first. <laughs> Get in first. Mucho gusto, mucho gusto, mucho gusto. But you can't, if you're socially awkward, you'll not want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> socially awkward, people don't want to get in first. Um, when when I'm in the supermarket now and I say, muchas gracias, they, they reply just about every time, a ti. Yeah. A ti. Mm -hmm. A ti. Yeah. And, and there the wouldn't be, I suppose they could say igualmente. Yeah, you could say you igualmente. igualmente but but they couldn't say tú también. You know, when you have um, kind of set 
answers, question yeah. and answer, question and answer. And it's like you instinctively say, if they say this, I say that. You don't even think. Yeah. 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 So when they say something, you reply. Mm -hmm. So if they say gracias, in this case, you could say a ti, thanks to you. Yeah? Exactly. Because you, what you're saying is gracias a ti, no? Gracias a ti. Gracias a ti. Like if you go shopping, thank, yeah. thank you for shopping here. Gracias yeah. a ti. Ah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. in, other, in other context, you would say igualmente. In other ones, you would say a ti también o tú también, depending on the verb. And sometimes you could use both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically. So if I, if I give you some greetings, okay. you reply to me in okay. all of the options. Every okay. single one. With swearing and everything, if I if I can. How many people <laughs> do you swear at when you greet them? Good God. What if it's my friend? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for example. Okay. When Cynthia greets her sister. I knew you were going to say that. I just had a feeling. When cleaning. Cynthia greets her sister. <laughs> no, we're gonna, don't. We're, we're going to do this. I'm, I'm Cynthia's sister. No, Hang don't. On. Don't say that because it's it's a... a what, how do you say that? An in, in joke? An in joke. Yeah. And, and people are going to find it offensive. No, they won't. But I, well, I'm saying if they won't. Cynthia's mum and dad don't like it. Well, they, they don't care now because they've heard it for so many years. But No, there's still every now and again. I've heard Mercedes go, I don't know why you have to say that between you. I don't know why you have to do that. Yeah. I haven't heard that in, in years, but they used to say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm your sister. Greet me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, well, my sister and I call each other puto. Okay, so I say, hola puto. <laughs> Jesus, hola puto. And she says, hola puto. Okay. Yeah. In now, fact, uh, on my phone, she is listed as Elena puto. <laughs> right. Let's just dig down into that. Let's dig down into that a little bit because, because obviously, Elena's a woman. You're a woman. But you say puto. So what's going on there? Well, I wouldn't say puta because that would exactly. be that, that would be, be an insult. Very different, wouldn't it? Yes. So what's the uh, what? How does that? How would that? I don't even know how that. And something happened one day, and then we started to call each other puto for for fun. And then that was years ago, years and years, at least ten years ago. <laughs> okay. And now it's like hola puto, but I don't know why. I don't know why that came about. I can't remember now, people but I wouldn't, who, say, I wouldn't say puta, that would be... No, that people be who are not in the loop find that a little bit strange. So, you know, Spanish speakers, obviously English speakers would Yeah, sometimes I'm in the street and I'm like, hola puto, and I forget that, you know, I shouldn't say that in public, but... <laughs> 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 it's just so natural for me. Okay, so let's do some normal greetings. Okay. Uh, hola, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, ¿qué tal estás tú? Yo, fenomenalmente, ¿y tú? Muy bien también, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. vale. So that's classic. Uh -huh. Classic, ¿ya? Yeah? Pues muchas gracias. A ti. A ti. O, as well, you could say muchas veces. Muchas veces, yeah, I've heard that. Uh, used to be Jose used to say that. Muchas yeah, veces. Yeah, some people say muchas veces. Yeah. Which means, uh, I'll do that many times. I would do that many times. Yeah. yeah. Many times I'd do it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, or you could say de nada, of course, you could say de nada, you're welcome. Yeah, de nada. So yeah. you've got the choice of, depending on the context, if they say thank you, you can say, would you say to you? It sounds a bit, sounds a bit no. direct in English. It, it, you would, thank no, you. you'd have to say thank you and thank you. That's what we say. Yeah. So in the context that you could say, um, no, thank you, you could say mm -hmm. a ti. Okay, and this one? Uh, oh. Encantado de conocerte. Igualmente. Mm -hmm. Igualmente. Mm -hmm. Or I could say encantada. Encantada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you are, I mean, in a more formal situation, I could say, um, if they said to you, un placer, I could say, el placer es mío. El placer es mío. And my, this my one, pleasure. See? This one. Eh, eh, pues muchas gracias. Me... Me gusta tocarte. <laughs> me ha encantado. Me ha encantado. Me ha encantado. Eso, ¿no? How would you say? 
en Me Too. Give me a context. Eh, bueno, el show me ha encantado. And you telling me because, and you greeting me and telling me. No, I'm just I saying. Am. I'm just saying. Thank you. I'm going now. I'm going. Yeah. Pero ah, sé, pues, eh, encantada de conocerte, Gordon. Vale. Pero, yeah. So I'm saying goodbye. So nice meeting you. Okay. Yeah. But Is I was trying to mean? get you a bit of a good style thing and going because it's a different kind of reply. Pues okay. Me me ha encantado. Y a ti. Oh, a mí también. Okay. Oh, because you were, you were greeting me, you were I was, mixing, shaking hands, I thought, I thought it was, uh, you, said, you were saying goodbye, saying, so when, lovely dinner. When somebody's saying they liked something, then if you want to say me too, you've got to say a mí también. Yes, right? we have videos on gustar, and it explains why we say a ti, a mí, mm -hmm. yeah? So yeah. if you check the videos on gustar and those verbs. Uh-huh. En ese one. Pues adiós, que tengas un buen día. Igualmente, Gordon, que tengas un buen día. Hasta luego. Gracias. Hasta luego. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> so, igualmente, que tengas un buen día también. Mm -hmm. ¿No? So, really. Oh, I could say, tú también. Tú también. Ya. Yeah. Que tengas un buen día, tú también. Mm -hmm. With no O oh, lo mismo digo. Ah, yeah. Lo mismo digo. I say the same. Yeah, that's one I to wanted you. to mention. Lo mismo digo. Lo mismo digo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm mm -hmm. saying the same. I'm saying the same. Sí, lo mismo digo. Yeah. Like, I'm saying the same to you. To you, yeah. So, the, the, the real trick is pretty much repeating what the person says. If you, if you aren't sure. If you, um, if, If somebody says que tengas un buen día, you can say y que tú tengas un buen día también. No? What, what if we, why don't we compare it to English? Because uh -huh. I think it's the same. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same fatic communion in, in English and Spanish. Uh -huh. So let's have typical situations. Like, for example, um, you've met someone but you're leaving and you want to say goodbye for the last time okay. before you leave. And you've just met that person. All right. So. so. Lovely to meet you. And I'll see you again. And then I would say, it was lovely meeting you too. Lovely meeting you too. For example. Yeah. Okay. So in Spanish, what would you say? Sí. Eh, ha sido un placer conocerte. Mm -hmm. Y espero verte en el futuro. Okay. That was a bit long. <laughs> But un placer... Conocerte, Un placer y conocerte gracias por la cena o gracias uh -huh. por whatever okay oh, y, y, y nos vemos ¿no? un placer igualmente nos uh -huh. vemos okay depending on what so I think it's the same in English depending on what they say yeah. you have the, the answers uh -huh. I don't know why you've mixed so many default well because I just <laughs> want to give a general idea but default <laughs> default is to say gracias When somebody's saying something nice to you. Que tengas un buen día. Muchas gracias. Okay? Yes. Not, not if they say nice to meet you. Encantado de conocerte. Gracias. <laughs> Sounds a bit bad. Thank Thanks you. to meet you. Thank you. I mean, lovely to meet you. Thank you. Oh, it, oh well, <laughs> this one even worse. It's lovely to meet you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because because uh, lots of people default to say, see. Sí. Yes, it, it was. Is. It was a lovely experience yeah. for you. <laughs> yes, it was, and I, I, I hardly agree with you that it is a pleasure to meet me. So if I say, um, uh, "Have a lovely day, Gordon." Mm -hmm. Thanks. I will. Oh, okay. In Spain, you can't no. say I will. No, 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 no. So, okay. Gordon, que que lo pases bien hoy. Muchas gracias, igualmente. Gracias. Mm -hmm. When we say "I will." You know, when, and I, that might be typical to the UK only, I don't know. But when somebody says, have a great time, you go, oh, I will. Here in Spain, just say thank you. Don't say I will. Yeah. Because that will come across as extremely rude. It just sounds bad. Uh -huh. Yeah. We've talked about this as well. Yeah, sure. But yeah, yeah we, we don't say I will because it sounds like, of course. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> I will do it anyway. You don't have to tell me. It sounds yeah. like that. So we would just, we just say thank you. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Lots of times, you know, just to, to finish, lots of times um, when we're learning Spanish and we, we kind of force our English into the Spanish. Lots of times, I mean, loads of times. 
and it sometimes it sometimes it works and sometimes it works really horribly horribly so this student who used to come to our house he was in a class and he 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 said um quería cruzar la calle i want to cross the road pero el el pajero el pajero no estaba eh, okay, how did he put it you want to say the 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 bird wasn't flashing, or the green man wasn't flashing or something. But this, it, it, basically, that sentence that he said came out so badly, and, he, and basically used the word pajero instead of pájaro. Yes, big difference. Massive big difference, difference. Between pajero and pájaro. We're not going to we're not going to explain it here, but if you wanted to check it out, you could have a look on an online <laughs> dictionary, and you would know the difference. That is why the Toyota Pajero was very popular in the UK and not very not popular. Not very popular here. I don't Spain. think I would like to drive. I have seen one car. I have seen one. Yeah, yeah. one. I saw one, one in El Casal. My, my whole life. With a Toyota, Toyota Pajero. And it's like, wow, don't drive around not, in Spain with that yeah. one. This is not a... <laughs> would you drive it? I think I would put some tape over the top. I'd probably pull that bit off. I'd pull it off. Hey, Gordon, another scenario, for example. You don't do this much in the UK. I have, in fact, I have never seen this in the UK, but we do in Spain. Um, you are going into, you're walking into a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You're not seated. You're still walking to your table. Okay. There are people around you already eating. So you walk in and you say, que aproveche to the mm -hmm. other people dining or having lunch or whatever. So they would say, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias, yeah. If I sit down to eat with my family and we all have our food and then I say, que aproveche, and we're all going to eat, including me, the person who said, que aproveche, then people would say, igualmente. Igualmente. You are, I have yeah. heard muchas gracias as well. So muchas gracias, igualmente. You have, then you typically, can say igualmente. Typically, I hear somebody say igualmente and somebody else might say muchas gracias. Yes. But yeah. if I'm going to eat... Then typically, muchas gracias, igualmente, or just yeah. igualmente. And that's an interesting I'm... point. In the UK, if we were walking through a restaurant, we wouldn't address anybody. We wouldn't talk to anybody. You go to your table. You would never instigate a conversation with people. Here in Spain, it's rude if you just walk past a table, people are eating. You, you kind of, it's like your way of excusing yourself for passing. You say, que aproveche. And they say, gracias. Yeah. So bear that in mind, eh? Bear that in mind. Yes. Yeah. You can also say hello in waiting rooms in Spain. Yeah. I think I think in the UK I think we might be a bit more socially awkward than than Spanish people. We don't say hello quite as much as, as you. We don't talk we don't instigate conversations with people that we don't know. Okay. Unless unless bus stop. Unless I was just gonna say unless we're in a bus <laughs> stop and then you're only allowed to talk about the weather. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> in a bus stop. Because what well, you've got to say something. So, there you are. Bueno, eh, hemos cubierto muchas cosas, ¿no? I think we've and done we've, a few scenarios. We've done a few scenarios. <laughs> okay, now, before we go, a word... From our sponsor. From our sponsor, which happens to be us. I mean, we say there are words from we our may, sponsor. Are, not gonna get, are we not going to get the voiceover? Yes, we have some, a couple somebody of has, uh, you sent it to me. Somebody's offered to do a voiceover. We need a voiceover yeah? for this. So, at, at this point, we're going to have a voiceover, and the voiceover is going to be in American doing yes. that American sales pitch. It has pitch. to be very, very, yeah? very exactly. American, North American. And we'll use it. But <laughs> if you want to know about greetings, okay, if you want to know your greetings, mate, this book's full of greetings. <laughs> so this book is full of, uh, you know, that's, a, that's somebody uh, in London on a market store. <laughs> Come and get your greetings, they're lovely. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <laughs> This book is filled with, with interactions with people. Well, why don't you have the voice of, you know, the, the people that shout in the street? Na, na, na. I don't even know what they say. So it's like... Uh, Eka lumbe, <laughs> reg lumbe. Eka lumbe. Yeah, anyway. Rags and lumber, any kind of lumber. Reg lumbe, eka lumbe. Uh, this book, stop interrupting. We're, we're talking about something I important. I use that voice to sell it. It yeah, it's the same voice that the men who used to sell who used to sell newspapers in Newcastle had exactly the same voice. Yeah, 
Irtenen. <laughs> what is that? The Evening Standard. But maybe, that, maybe, maybe that's the pitch for British people. Maybe that's what you know. What makes them? It's what go, happens is yeah, when that. you have shouted that for twenty years. <laughs> It loses a lot. It's kind of like there's no interest in saying, I'm not going to pronounce it. I've pronounced it well for 10 years. Now I'm going to pronounce it badly. <laughs> Everybody knows what it is. Everyone knows, ah, that's the. We used to, it's the rag and ball man. We used to oh. run because the horse used to have a wee often and it used to fascinate me. Have you ever seen a horse have a wee? It is like standing next to Niagara Falls. It's awesome. Anyway, stop interrupting me. This book has fill, is filled. <laughs> With interactions, interactions with people, okay? And this, you would learn lots and lots of greetings with this book. This is for uh, beginners upwards, up to up to kind of intermediate level, okay? It's available on Amazon, and I'll put the link in the information. India. Okay. In influence. I didn't ask you to talk about the horse having a piss. I just, I just asked you to... Having a wee wee. I should. I, do, I should cocoa. I just, this is this is a family show. So you were forcing me before to say puto. Yeah, but that's but in now a different I can't language. Say, I can't say, okay. Swear words in another language don't count. Pish, then pish, like uh, uh, in, in Scottish. Uh-huh. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I just wanted you to have that voice to advertise the book. Okay. That's all. All I wanted you to. Do. I didn't. I didn't ask you to talk about. Horse, uh, we. Horses, we. Okay, but you brought back memories. That's all. Yeah. You brought. You took me back to my youth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Entonces eso es todo y nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós. Adiós.